it's a choice remember everyone it's a choice <laughs> it's a choice like you can you can freely you have the freedom the freedom to choose whether or not you get vaccinated unvaccinated father loses right to see his child loses right i've noticed that i've noticed that vaccinations and rights kind of go hand in hand which makes them not rights but uh, privileges a canadian father who has not been vaccinated against covid has temporarily lost the right to see his 12 year old child a judge ruled his visits would not be in the child's best interest it follows a request by the father to extend his visiting time during the holidays so the father put in a request to the courts saying i would like to see my child more and the court's response was to go, how about you don't get to see your child at all? Because you will not go through with this, this government-forced medical procedure. The judgment is the first depriving a parent of access rights on immunisation grounds, a family law expert told Le Devoir newspaper. The judge's decision, made at the end of last month in Quebec province, Quebec's just going right down the shutter, isn't it? It suspends the father's visitation rights until February unless he decides to get vaccinated. The mother, who opposed the father's initial request to extend his visitation time, told the court she had recently discovered he was unvaccinated using his social media posts to show that he was opposed to vaccines. So that's basically, yeah, you, you know who it is. You know who it is uh, with, with an ex. Uh, with some, uh, few, you know, women especially, they will do some horrendous vindictive shit to get back get back at the guy and one thing that i've seen it i've seen it happen to friends of mine and everything where they've broken up with a woman and they have a kid together and the kid just immediately becomes a weapon for the woman to use your dad's evil your dad's horrible your dad's a piece of shit yeah i was the one that cheated on him but your dad made me do it <laughs> but your dad's horrible he's evil he's mean oh yeah sorry the kid doesn't want to see you don't know, don't know why, don't know how that got in his head. Yeah, and then the courts always side with the mothers on it as well. It's some some fucking horrendous shit. Uh, the, the mother uh, lives with her partner and two children who are too young to be vaccinated. The judge said it was not in the child's best interest to have contact with their father due to the recent increase in COVID cases in French-speaking Quebec. Quebec, which has seen the highest number of COVID-related deaths in Canada, which is so strange because they have some of the most brutal lockdown restrictions. Isn't that weird? Uh, announced earlier this week it would impose a tax on residents who are not vaccinated against COVID-19. We spoke about that the other day. Although only about 12% of Quebec residents are eligible for the vaccine and remain unvaccinated, they make up over a, over a quarter of all hospital cases. So who makes up the other three quarters? That's, that's fascinating. Uh, but yeah, this is just you know, look. See, see one of the see one of the things that see right now. Governments they fucking love COVID. They love that this has happened. They love it because it gives them the perfect excuse to just go full on outright authoritarian on everyone. And yet you will have the little uh, COVID COVID unionists uh, and the and the populace clapping and cheering as they do it because the government's here to help we're here we care about you we care about your livelihood we could have solved world hunger and pedo gangs and murder and rape and all these other things a million times over but we don't and we never did because it's never at all been about protecting people only protecting their own power right see all the stuff that the governments are doing right now eh, against covid it has absolutely nothing to do with actually protecting people this is them getting to squeeze these horrible authoritarian emergency powers like right through while everyone claps and like claps and screams in happiness as the government fucking does it right that's that is all this is and this is just the government going on eventually like vaccine laws will be mandated they will vaccines are going to get mandated all over the world because again that's a massive piece of power that the governments can grab a hold of and of course if there's a chance of power, the governments are going to grab it. And then eventually, you now, if uh, one of the things that's going to be really funny is uh, usually whenever the, the dam bursts on a type of legislation, that's it. All other laws are going to come through behind it. You know, see, as soon as the first anti-free speech law came in, boom, the dam burst and all the other ones came flooding in behind it. It's going to happen with vaccine mandates. I'm, I'm going, to, going, to, going to have to do another little Nostradamus moment. 
I have a feeling that at some point within the next 10 years, the vaccine is not going to be the only medical procedure that's legally required, legally mandated, that you will be forced to go through by the government. I'm calling it, I'm calling it now, some point in the next 10 years, maybe five. <laughs>